So today we're going to talk about a tool or equipment used for gardening. So this one is one of the essentials, especially when you're starting or just a plant beginner. So I suggest that you guys get a moisture meter. Yes, um, especially for those who don't know the finger method or who haven't had any idea on how to measure the moisture of the soil, whether when you're gonna water your plants or whatnot. So you need a moisture meter. Well, it comes in different sizes, different colors, different designs, and of course, different prices. So from few dollars up to hundreds, well, it depends on the performance of your moisture meter. But what really is a moisture meter? A moisture meter is a tool used to measure content of moisture of the soil, let you know when to water, and it helps you to determine if the plant is getting adequate light, helps you control pH level in soil, and this has no battery. This one that I have right now has no battery. So I will show you guys and unwrap it. Okay. So when you see other plant YouTubers, just like me, <laughs> I'm a plant vlogger. So um, this one looks, maybe this one will look familiar to you. However, most of them, um, they use the square ones from Amazon. This one, um, so far, I get from um, Lazada here in Malaysia. So. This one is very cheap. This is only 15 Malaysian Ringgit. So 15 Malaysian Ringgit is maybe um, less than $10 if you are going to convert it into USD. So um, you guys can pretty much find this in hardware shops or department stores as well. So this is a three-way moisture meter and it has the moist, the pH balance, and the light level. So this is 3-in-1 and again, this is really ideal for plant beginners out there. So again, I suggest for you guys to get this one. Now, I will show you how to use this moisture meter. So we will be doing a video for ornamental plants like leafy green plants and succulents. One of the reasons why I purchased this one is because I'm into succulents nowadays. So this one will help me through taking care of my succulents and cactus. Sometimes the soil can be very deceiving. So they tend to look dry on the surface, but when you touch them, when you use the finger method, they're still moist underneath. So that is, again, one of the cause of root rot when you have a very moist or wet soil. So when the roots are soaking on the wet soil for a long period of time, they tend to rot and your plants will surely die. So now I will show you how this one works. So again, I will show you the dry surface soil and the wet soil. So probably this one will be up to here, but later on I will show you the up close look of it so you will learn how to measure it and how to check the moisture of your soil. Okay, I prepared some pots right here which is kind of dry at the surface and then I don't know if it's still moist or whatnot because I watered this too um, just like three days ago and it's really sunny the weather in Malaysia is so hot now it's only January but it feels like summer like March so let's check if this one works okay so this is a three-way meter so you have the dark light dry moist and wet so there you go i hope you can see it very clearly now if you want to check the moisture of your soil just push the switch onto the left side and then insert probe deeply into the soil reaching root level so you just need to poke it until the bottom of your soil or until you reach the pot, you touch the pot. 
I mean this one until this one touches the pot and then for the light push the switch onto the center facing the light surface or light source hold the meter next to the plant avoid touching sensing element located underneath gauge so this one don't touch it when you're checking something or when you're switching it left right and middle so just better to be this way just hold it here while you switch left right and center and then for soil pH push the switch onto the right side so again it's very clear so since you have the labels right here it's easy for you to use this one that's why this gadget or this equipment or whatever you want to call it <laughs> is really ideal for plant beginners so just push it onto the right side insert the probe deeply into the soil a ph reading greater than seven is alkaline a reading less than seven is acidic a slightly acidic soil with a ph between eight or 6.5 to 7 soil that is highly alkaline cause the leaves to lose their color and stand the growth of the plant so again we need to check the three major elements so moisture your light and your soil pH especially for the succulents now I'm going to put this on the moist mode right there so again moist light and pH the pH level of your soil so some plants wanted the soil more acidic and some just don't want it so now I'm going to check the moisture right we're going to check the moisture so what I do is I'll just put it on the left side click it on the left and then we're going to poke it onto the soil just like so so here is the close look of the soil so again this looks very deceiving just because it's hot outside so I put this one at the balcony and it gets like four or five hours straight um, sunshine so okay, let's check it what you do is you just poke it straight at the bottom of the pot or soil so what does it says it's in the middle so now I'm not going to water this yet because it says it's around five um, level five so it means to say it has enough moisture so maybe a couple of days maybe two or three days I don't need to water this plant okay let's proceed to the other pot this one tends to dry really fast this philodendron Florida and it's with cocoa peat okay the surface is quite dry and then we'll check the moisture level so it's the same it's five and the level five so again I don't need to water this and then let's check the pH so the pH or the acidity is low and then the light okay there you go and because it's nighttime so the light is low but when you check it during daytime then you will see how this one respond to the sunshine that your plant needs or gets so I reported this one yesterday and the soil that I use with this one is a bit moist not wet but moist so now we will check if it's too dry or whatnot this is the 
reason why I purchased this one. Okay, so you see? The surface is very dry just because I use a lot of pumice onto my succulents. I use pumice. So there you go. It's in level two. There. So it's in level two. So maybe I'll wait for another day or two before I maybe bottom soak my succulents. Because this one, Mrs. Richards tends to rot, I mean the leaves, when I water it on top. So I'm going to bottom water it. And so this one, the Echeveria Hera. Okay, it's still moist. So again, deceiving one, it looks dry, but it's still moist. So that's how you read the moisture on your soil. Very easy. So this one needs to be watered. It's very dry. So there you go.